Trigonometric ratio, quadrants, and angles. Question 12. Consider an angle theta in the third quadrant. Determine primary trigonometric ratios if cotangent theta equals to x over x plus 1, where x is not equal to minus 1. This is a question based on the question 11, which you just did in the video previous to this. I would like you to watch that video if you haven't done so, and then answer this question yourself. Stop the video now and answer the question. And then once you have answered, look into my solution, okay? Here is my solution. Now, consider an angle theta in the third quadrant. That means that is the third quadrant, correct? So we'll make a triangle here. That always when you make a triangle, draw the perpendicular on the horizontal x-axis. When we say theta, we mean this angle, correct? So that is the angle theta which we are always talking about and that is the principal angle, correct? Now, it is given to us that cot theta is equal to x over x plus 1. That means tan theta will be how much? It will be reciprocal of this, right? So that is tan theta. Now, tan theta is that. And what is tan theta? So cut over, opposite over, adjacent side. So opposite side is x plus 1. So we can write here x plus 1 and adjacent as x. So these are our sides, correct? Now we need to find hypotenuse, right? So how much is this side? So let's call this as c for the time being. And we can calculate this side. And we'll say, well, from here we can say c is equals to square root of x plus 1 whole square plus x square, correct? From the Pythagorean theorem, right? Let's expand it. So we get x square plus 2x plus 1 plus x square. Then this gives us x square plus x square is 2x square plus 2x plus 1 square root, right? Now, so that is our expression for the hypotenuse, correct? So this is right angle, correct? This is our expression for hypotenuse. Now, since this is the expression of hypotenuse, we can write sine and cosine in this terms, right? So we can write from here what is sine theta. So we have sine theta equals to opposite side, which is x plus 1 over this expression, right? It is 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 square. And since you are in quadrant 3, this has to be negative. So we'll write a negative sign here. This is very important. Similarly, for cos theta, we'll write negative of adjacent side is x. So x over square root of 2x square plus 2x plus 1. Correct? So these are our answers. In quadrant 3, remember, cos rule. Correct? It says cos is positive here, all are positive here, sine in this, and tan. So only tan is positive. Do you see that? And all others are negative. So that is how it is to be done. Remember, x cannot be minus 1 since that makes this denominator 0, right? And in this solution, we will now get more restrictions that x cannot be even 0, right? And that may also give us some restrictions which you can use quadratic formula and find out, right? That's not a part of this question, so we're not doing that part at present. We're just writing an expression for cosine and sine theta. It's always good to write whatever is clearly visible, right? So that is another restriction which we get from this. Okay, thank you.